bowling perfection measured with a score of 300. It is so rare when it happens once, but how about twice on the same day at the same lanes? Matt Hosworth takes us to East Syracuse. It was a, definitely an amazing experience um, to have two people throw 300s in the same night. That just doesn't happen. And on top of it, on the same team. Haley Euchre and Hunter Borkowski. Just the latest ESM bowlers to accomplish a perfect game. When it finally happened, I was like, really? Thank God, finally. I wasn't really that nervous. When I got to my ace strike, I was like, wow, I'm close, but I'm not going to worry about it because I thought I was going to mess up, but I started bowling really nice in the eighth and got to the tenth, and I was just like, wow, I just did that. The achievement arrived last week. ESM was hosting CBA. That's when Euchre, a junior at ESM, became the first female in OHSL history to bowl a perfect 300. On the other end of the lanes, it was Borkowski, a freshman for the Spartans, who also capped off a perfect night with a 300 of his own. I dreamed about doing it in a high school match. Like, I didn't care about where else I happened. I wanted it in a high school match. And they just, because I have this chant where they go, Haley Euchre, then they clap. Like, I dreamed about it a lot, and then it finally happened. When I did it, it felt like a normal game. And that's just, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do it again in these next three years. As graduates of East Syracuse Manoa High School, I know I could speak for Nico Tamarian on this. Neither of us were good enough <laughs> to play for the ESM bowling program. And all you really need to do is step inside this gymnasium and look up top at the banners. Plenty of sports well represented, but there's one, obviously, that is very well represented. Yes, the bowling program. Whether it's sectional championships or state championships, the Spartans have really dominated the lanes over the years. And if you look up top at that last banner, there's a little bit more room for yet another championship, perhaps this year. Do I think this team can win it? Yeah, I mean, I think the girls are set up to have a really good run at it next year, and I think the boys are set up to have a decent run at it this year. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Reporting in East Syracuse, I'm Matt Hosworth. Such a cool feat. We'll see if they can go all the way. They are so good. Definitely. Yeah, thank you, Nico. That'll do it for us tonight at 6. I'm Megan Coleman. I'm Matt Mulcahy. We'll see